I imagine this must be what Christian guilt feels like. You know, when they say they have Christian guilt because obviously all the mistakes and everything made in the past, like, or whatever BS they're trying to, like, spout, but you kind of get the idea, right? As in, like, you see how, like, it felt like it was just being lauded down upon you in the song. That's kind of, I imagine, how they would really feel with it. That's how I felt with it, like, you know, this creature, this thing that's so powerful, so present, so just like, you know what, regardless, man, I'll see when you mess up, and when you do, I will watch you suffer, I will watch you be mutilated, I will not care. You can suffer a thousand times, I feel the range of a thousand suns because of it. Just, yeah, this is the lashing, the laceration of the skin, so yeah. And like people got lashed all the time at them, like back in those days. You shall be cast into rivers of purity. The wickedness takes the soul, bleach the stains of skin. So it's just, it's about people being tortured because of um uh, because of them sinning, not believing whichever way you want to go about it. Well, if you don't believe, you get killed. But sinning is definitely get punished for it. And obviously, you have um ways you can repent as well. But I think that's more um I don't know if that's straight Christianity, but it's close to it anyway. Like, all the religions kind of blur into one at some point, and they all kind of, like, meet each other at one way or another. Uh, wallow in immoral existence. I, the harvester of untarnished entities. I, the immortal king, reign in the dawn of damnation. Yeah, you do. Like, you damn people, but you don't torture. That's a thing you don't touch, but you just damn. So, it's like, you're not really... That's what you basically sent your firstborn son to do. That's where Satan comes into this. That's where, like, the creator damns and then the son punishes because that's what he's forced to do. He's forced there. There's nothing else he can do. Like, it's what it states, clearly. Like, people always misjudge the Lightbringer for being one of evil, whereas, no, he rebelled. He tried to go against and it didn't quite succeed. But still, bleeding out for your sin. All are, are, are unworthy to gaze upon me for the sight. Burn intensely of the pe of the pestilent waste. Do not speak my name. The imprint of the unwanted inheritance of casting shame. All bow down to thy father, thy king. Like, yeah. He's basically like a lord lording over everybody. All well, that's what he's intending to do. Anyway. Oh, we've got a solo time, man. This is a very cool solo. I love all the solos are perfectly placed, though. We're like a perfect position for it. I love the kettle screaming along with the darkness and within the blows as well. That was a perfect blend going on two different directions. Yeah, now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of it. Now we're getting into where it's just like there's no salvation for anybody. The looks are so slow on the screen. They're way, be right, they're, they're way behind where they were meant to be. Yes, 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 yes,
I don't care. So we're getting the ideology now behind his whole world, his whole kind of dynamic, how he thinks, basically. At least that's the way that I'm really viewing it in my head anyway, but still. So... The Disciples of Demise, the Captor of Creation, Never Ending Damnation, the book controls lives, being the, being the Bible, obviously. Now die by the hand from which you're made, none return, all suffer, all rot, all in my name. My desire is to cast you, filthy waste, into eternal flames. Eternal servitude, for Christ his display, forsaken waste, sentenced to unending dismay. Yeah, for when you killed him, you basically damned every single person to eternal torture. I don't care anymore. Like, that creature does not care anymore. He's just like, well, I tried. I sent you a savior. And what did you do? That's his whole mindset then. It's just like, you know what? Everything is just going to go. Everything is just... Bathed in the screams of the burning eternal sinners, as smouldering to ashes, the flesh is blackened, cleansing rain, the insanity within pain. My reign begins. I am God, the Almighty Creator, and so on, and so on, and so on. I am holy and filled with hate, your soul I shall take. Let he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone among you. Like, as I mean torture being destroyed for either sinning against him or even for serving his will, you might not even, at this point, I think it's just anybody, you're all going to go to hell. You're going to suffer, regardless of whether you believe, don't believe, at this point it's all just turning into pure, unbridled rage. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought, so as I watch from my phone, like on a little TV, mum, that's what I have to say anyway. And it's like sending all of the innocent to a soul fulfilled finite resting place here. Yeah. It's so true. God loves to watch you suffer. Who does? It's true. It's so true. That's why we're here to begin with. If the Bible didn't believe that anyway. Which is not, but you know. Those tea cattle screams are ridiculous, man. Those screams are crazy, man. Wow. Just wow. Just. He wants to make you all suffer. He wants to make everybody suffer. And if he, if he had his way, we would all suffer. Especially if we let religion take control once again, which thankfully it is. But at the same time, it's not. It's not as big as it used to be. It's slowly that dying out. But that's going to go away completely. That's a whole different issue. But still. Yeah, 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 yeah. 